This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Toporia. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title. Come on, let's go. You got this. All right, with that, the wait ends here. Both fighters have placed the octagon, and we are raring to go from a sold-out Eddie Hatterina here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting the reigning defending undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world Ilya so her dean third man great in there fight. for this one great all right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Toporia, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Nicely done. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Leg kick is there. Counters with the straight right. Oh, no. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. That was nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Topuria. 
Oh, another strike lands from the top. Topuria is back in half. There. Oh, looks like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Excellent ground and pound there by Ilya Topuria. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Topuri is right back to the full mount. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Topuria. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. That was a slick transition. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Nice shots landing from the top position. Topuri is going for the sub here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, he escapes. He got he out. Of the wow, that is great submission defense. Solid punch, Lance Ford. Ninety seconds to go on our opening round. Oh, looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. Takedown defense is there. Now they separate. Oh, high kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, nice takedown defense. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of outfit. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, great submission defense. That's big ground and pound. Jake, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Lance with the ground and pound. He's got side control here, DC. You know, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Oh, perfect combination. Nice hook there by Ilya Topuria. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Nice counter shot there. Beautiful 
jab there by the champ. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Good straight hand there by Ilya Topuri. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Man, he gets those kicks to the target quickly. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. Not moving his head effect. He's trying to be face first. You don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shit into the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Three minutes to go. And just misses with that big right hand. Let's go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And that one certainly found the target. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the oh! Strong straight left there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything again. He should have got the fight finished today. Under two minutes to go in round two. Topodius' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Now goes to the uppercut. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Look at the torso on the... Oh! Oh! oh bad. And back to his feet. Massive left hand. Effective use of the jab there by Topuria. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish him. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And, hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. All right, side control now. Topuri is trying for a submission here. Oh, Darce Choke locked the load. Oh, he got up. Seconds winding down in round two. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and whoa! Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Both fighters throwing heat now. That leg kick hurt. There it is again. Look at that. Oh! Back to his feet. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you attempting a choke now. Oh, that sub is tight. Oh, he's looking for the finish now. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Beautiful transition. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Three minutes. Oh! Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, no. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Pack. Oh, that'll do oh. it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, this time. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yes. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.